guys, Tony here from Paradise Garage and LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, if you guys can quickly type in the chat where you're tuning in from, and if you're a VIP member or not, let me know. What's up, Rich Reese? Hold on, I gotta shut this water off. There we go. Um, let's see here. Okay, let me get back to the uh, stream here. Hold on, guys. Just give me a minute. Just trying to... Uh... Can you guys hear me? Just type in the chat, guys, if you can hear and see me. Type in the chat. Let me know. Um, Tony here hanging out with you from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and Paradise Garage. We're going to be doing auto body Q&A for about 20 minutes, give or take. So if you have any questions... Um, now is the time to uh, start jotting them down. Thanks, guys. What's up, Rich Reese? What's up, Gail? 56 Chevy repaint. Hey, hey, Cam says, I hear you. Awesome, 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 guys. So what kind of projects are you working on? Um, let me know. For me, I just did this backsplash tile this weekend over there. Did here. I still got to do some molding trim. Did this whole wall here. All the way down. Still kind of working on it, but uh, it's looking good. Looking really good. I got to grout it. Still got to grout it. All I did was just put the tile on. Um, <clears throat> I can hear you fine. Picture window small. I'm not sure what that means. Okay. Welding and full repaint, base coat, clear coat. All right, guys. So, yeah, just hanging out today right now. I'm going to be on for 20, 30 minutes doing some quick auto body q and If you have any questions on auto body, type them in. Hopefully, we can help you out. Damn, my hair is a mess. <laughs> Jesus, I need a haircut. Uh, and um, And we will go from there, guys. Whatever questions you got. Let me just uh, hold on one second, guys. Okay. Um, for all you newbies just tuning in for the first time, I'm just going to pop a couple links here. Um, this is where you can get some free training at learnautobodyandpaint.com right there, that link. Uh, this is where you can grab some awesome amazing spray guns um zula is doing a sale right now i think they're bringing back a sale uh, for the next 14 hours you basically buy an x88 spray gun and you get the x16 for free that's a deal it's like a 200 dollars value for free uh what else if any of you guys are interested in learning how to build an e-commerce business i break it down here in this 75 minute training i'm going to put it right over here Hold on, guys, and I'm just gonna we're gonna get to Q and A right after this. And then, any of you guys are interested in crypto, you want to learn how to build your wealth portfolio with crypto, just click on this link and just subscribe to this newsletter there at cryptowaters.com. And um, let's do some Q and A. Um, Cam says, "Hold on, let's get back to Gail here. He's on Facebook. I have a all I have is a 20 gallon compressor. Do you have any tips on techniques to keep spraying? Well." You know, you really can't do much with a 20 gallon compressor because you don't have a lot of volume storage. Right. So, you know, there's nothing you can really do um, besides play catch up with your air compressor. So, you know, it's going to be kicking on and off. Um, I wouldn't suggest painting any large projects. You could probably get away doing a hood, a fender. A motorcycle, no problem, you know, parts and all that, no problem. But as far as that thing constantly running, you know, and you sucking up all the, the air out of that machine, out of the compressor, painting a car, it's not going to happen. 
if you're going to paint the car, I would actually recommend at least the 33 gallon, um, you know, three to five horsepower uh, that puts out enough CFM to where you can actually spray. You're still going to have to play catch up, like, you know, wait a couple of minutes for your air to fill the tank and get, you know, so you got more air to, to paint. So I've done it multiple times painting complete cars with, the, with a uh, 30, 33 gallon, 30 to 33 gallon air compressor. It can be done. It's a little tricky, but it can be done. 20 gallon is more for um, smaller parts, single parts. Okay, let's see. Cam says, new painter here. I just did my first paint job on a 97 Goldwing trike. Uh, did a candy brandy wine. How did it come out? Let me know how it came out. Man, I, I desperately, I desperately need a hat right now. Oh, God. How deep of a hole can I use the glaze? Can I put epoxy primer or wait till primer filler? Um, well, glaze putty can be used to fill rock chip type dents or chips and, um, and scratches. So however deep a scratch is, you know, you can fill it with glaze putty. Okay, but I would feather it out first and then put some glaze putty on it. Okay. Any type of scratches, you're pretty much good uh, with glaze putty. Scratches and chips. Um, hold on. I put my work hat on. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Richard, what's going on, Richard? Welcome as a new VIP member. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, just bought an Atom X27 spray gun. I hope you like it. Let me know what your thoughts are uh, once you start using it. And uh, welcome to VIP, buddy. Thanks for the support. Uh, Is the crypto Eastish to easy easy to do? Is that what you're saying? Um, it's not hard. Um, I would say that you know there's research time involved, but I do a lot of research pretty much every day. But uh, you know, if you end up subscribing to uh, my crypto report and some of my trainings on what I do, I'll, I'll basically be giving you all the info that you need. Um, Cam says came out pretty good, but but I was too light on the clear coat. When I tried to cut and buff, I went down to the base silver on a couple of corners. Can I just go over at 600 and redo the base count? Yes, absolutely. You could do that. So you're going to have to uh, get it down to 600, four or 600, pretty much the same arena. Um, rebase it and then redo your candy and, uh, and, and you'll be good to go. Tony Anderson, what's going on, bro? Hope you're doing well. Um, Tony says, Hey, Tony, I just purchased the Atom X20 spray gun as you recommended. And the results were absolutely awesome. It was much better than my Develbis spray gun like night and day. So there you go. I, I feel Atom guns are really, really good. Been painting with them for years now. And, um, they, you know, they do the job for me. VIP Orlando, Stacy, what's going on? Are you guys, um, bracing for that tropical storm? Whatever I, I got, I guess, I mean, Florida, I, I just checked the news on my phone or whatever, and everybody seems like they're bracing for uh, for this storm that's on the way to Florida. Does it seem pretty bad or not too bad? Gary Burgess, what's going on, buddy? VIP, North Carolina. Cam says, thank you, no problem. Um, what else? Any other Q&A here? So guys, this is your time. Whatever questions you have pertaining to auto body and painting and steps or whatever, I'm here to help you, help guide you through your unique project. Um, again, if you're totally brand new, how many guys never been on this stream before? Um, if you haven't, then please visit 
learn auto body and paint.com right over here. Um, and you can basically grab some free, free, uh, free training already starting to evacuate Tampa. Really? Is, does it seem like it's going to be that bad out there, man? Hope, hopefully, um, it's not that bad guys. I know Florida can get some nasty storms out there, you know, during storm season. Um, uh, Man Manuel says, hey, are the Atom X20 high volume, low pressure and low volume, low pressure, same gun? Can I just take the needle kit to make it? Uh, it's actually a different gun, different setup inside also um, as far as the air valves. Um, so it's a different gun. You cannot put a high volume, low pressure cap on a low volume, low pressure setup gun. That's why they sell them separately. They're two different, totally two different guns. So hope, hopefully that answered your question there. Uh, Rich says, what is your, um, procedure for a new raw bumper to paint? So depending on you know, new raw bumper. I don't know. It could be, you know, your bumper could have a primer on it already, you know, brand new. It can have an e-coat on it. Normally metal pieces have e-coat, but I've seen some plastic have an epoxy paint primer on it um, or an e-coat on plastic as well. Um, if there is like a black primer on it, you can sand that and you could paint right over it or you can sand it spray two coats of, uh, you know, 2k filler primer just to coat it and then wet sand that. So you have a nice sanded primed foundation and uh, base coat, clear coat right on top of that, or single stage right on top of that. So, you know, you could pretty normally you have to refinish brand new parts to get it ready for paint. So, like I said, metal, a lot of metal, new metal parts from factory or secondhand market, they come black, which is an e-coat primer. It's very thin. I like to prime on top of that. I don't like to usually paint. You could paint on it. If you sand it with four to 600, you could paint right over it. But I like to give it a coat of a primer, of gray primer, um, and then put my base coat, clear coat on top of that. So hopefully that helps. Uh, Tony Anderson says, I'm about to spray clear coat over my single stage candy apple red paint job. How long can I wait after spraying single stage candy apple red? Um, longer, the better. So you sprayed your candy apple red single stage. It's dry, right? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming right now it's dry. Um, I like to let single stage cure for about two weeks before buffing it. Um, or before adding a clear coat over it. So I would just let it cure for two weeks, you know, two to four weeks. If, if you're not in a rush, let it cure for a month. Then you can go over it with 800 grit. If you're going to clear coat it, use 800 grit. Uh, don't go with six. Don't go with four. It's too coarse. 800 grit is the perfect sand tooth where your clear coat will fill in the scratches and it will look nice again when you clear over it. So hopefully that helps. Tony, did I answer your question? Please let me know. Um, Dom says, when I sand down Bondo, why is there always another low spot right next to where I sanded Bondo? Multiple times happened to me. I'm still, or am I still high on Bondo area? Uh, okay, so it, it depends, man. It's just that you're you're screwing up on the the body work phase right now. You know, you're you're maybe your hands are confused with high and low. You might want to use a guide coat. Um, and also when repairing a dent, okay, say this dot here is a dent. I know this picture is going to look funny. Okay. Say this is a, a indention on a panel. Okay. And it's dented in. So normally when you get a dent or a ding, you're going to get a high spot around it. Okay. This area tends to buckle up looks like a whatever so when pull when you're pulling out a dent could be a square dent or a rectangle or whatever you want to tap down around here just a little bit while pulling the center out you want to tap here and then you're going to basically grind the whole thing 
right? And you're going to put a skin of body filler. My pen doesn't work. Freaking pen doesn't work. But you're going to lay, you know, you're going to lay your, your, your body filler over it this way, right? And then you're going to block it out flat. If you're having issues, if you're having issues, um, I would definitely use a guide coat. Okay. Um, a lot of people, sometimes if you have a wobbly panel, that's very thin, thin metal, what you're working on a middle of a hood or a door, a Honda door where it's very thin. If you push too much while you're sanding, you're going to buckle and indent. So you, you don't want to push too hard when you're doing your blocking when sanding also, because that can throw everything off. So you just got to be careful. Um, Dom, do you have access to my VIP course? If you don't, I highly recommend you to check out VIP because we show you step-by-step -step in video, how to tackle projects and, and, you know, dents like this. So don't forget, go there to learn all about it, get the free training and then check out VIP. We have a special offer where you can become VIP. Um, it's worth it. There's over 200 hours of step-by-step -step auto body videos. Uh, that talk about everything and not just talk. It sh we show you everything all on video, step-by-step -step how to do body work. So hopefully that helps. Uh, no problem, Tony Anderson. Good morning, Jeremy Ross. What's going on, bro? Um, have you ever painted with a uh, crystal effect? When I redo my rear end, I'd like to add a little something to break up the red candy. Yeah, it's basically just a uh, flake or pearl crystal effect. It's just another additive that you put in your clear coat. Yeah, absolutely. You could put it in clear or you can put it in, in a mid coat, which is a clear base coat. You could use uh, a carrier, you know, like DBC 500 by PPG. It's like a clear base coat. Um, you mix it up, add your flake, pearl or crystal effect, whatever. Uh, and then you spray that on and then you put clear coat on top of that. Ray says, I'm a newbie on the air, but VIP since 2018. I'm Ray painting my first car, 06 Cooper. Cool. Uh, I wrote to you an email concerning what I'm using. Can you text me back if you find the email? Have too many questions for the air. Hey, Ray, can you please resend that email to me? Find it right now in your email box. Resend it to me at Tony at LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. I literally get hundreds of emails a day through my multiple online businesses and whatnot. My team filters them out. Um, and sometimes I miss them, you know, they filter my emails out and I get a good amount that I have to go through, but sometimes they miss it or I miss it or whatever. But if you could just resend that to me, that'd be great. Tony at learn .com. Thanks, Ray. Uh, would you recommend spray clear coat on rusted truck patina? I don't recommend it, but if that's something that you want to test out and try, go for it. It can be done. Um, is there links on the crypto waters to how it's done? Thanks. Yeah. So for now, um, there is just a free newsletter at cryptowaters.com. You can sign up here. I'll, I should start releasing content on that whole project, um, within the next four to six weeks, we're going to actually have a crypto, um, mastermind type thing going on. So take a look into that. Um, I've been doing a lot of uh, trading actually. So those are, you know, I'm actually learning, learning how to day trade and swing trade and scalp trade right now. Um, I was able to make $5,600 last week trading crypto just in a couple of days, literally in three days, but then I gave it all back. So I'm still in the learning process but there is a lot of opportunity, you know, $2,000 days is, can easily be done, but I got into one wrong trade the other day and I gave it all back. So, you know, a lot of, lot of opportunity. Trading's not my thing. I'm more of a buy and hold type person or an NFT guy, but a lot of opportunity in trading. I got a couple of friends of mine, you know, one, one of my good friends actually, is really into it. He's getting really good at it and he's teaching me some tips and tricks. So, um, I'm just, you know, putting my hundred hours in and, and learning about it and, um, you know, just trying to become better every day. You got it, Arnie. You got it, Rich. Uh, Hey Tony, did you get my video that I sent you in the single stage paint job? 99 Ford F-150. I sent it to you last week. Tony Anderson, can you please send that to me again? 
video on a sync. Please, Tony, send that to me one more time. Please, please, please. I think I missed it. I had a, a very busy week last week and I wasn't on the computer as much as I should have been. So if you could resend that, that'd be great. Um, Kitas Boom says VIP out of Delaware. I'm working on a quarter panel body line and having a hell of a time trying to get it perfect. Can you recommend certain blocks that could help or do you have a method for body lines? Um, body lines, I usually, I mean, you can use, you know, masking tape to kind of give you a body line when you're doing blocking. I'm not sure, um, you know, what body line you're working on. If you're working on a, a convex, like, you know, around a fender, you know, or a straight body line in a door or side of a fender or a wheel. Well, I'm not sure what type of body line you're working on, but, um, you know, you're going to want to switch between long and short blocks. I use DuraBlock. Um, I use tape. You could use guide coat. Okay. Guide coat can come in handy. And I don't use that powder guide coat or all that crap. I just use a cheap uh, 1K flat black. Okay. That's the best guide coat you can get. Any type of $1 can of cheap guy, uh, black, flat black. It's all you need. Um, and uh, just work it. You know, if you if you want to send me a video, Cletus on what's your name? Yeah, Cletus, uh, send me a video. I can kind of give you an uh, maybe I can kind of help you out and give you some feedback on that. But hard for me to give you any feedback without looking at what you're doing. And and so so yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the spray it LVP? I don't know because I. I have not used it. Uh, goes down the entire quarter and and it bumps out at a 45. So yeah, it's all about feathering and and you know working with the body line, man. It's pretty much artwork. When you're doing body work like that, it's pretty much artwork. You know, but uh, over time I'm sure you'll get it. It's it's basically a lot of guide coating, primer, um, and multiple coats of body filler because if you screw up if you take off too much then you got to go put more back on you know so that's pretty much it you know it takes time you know be patient it's just a panel you know it, everything can be shaped with a block as far as block go, blocking goes you know your best bet bet would be to use a, a 12 inch block you can use one of these like this. I haven't used it yet, but this is a nice 12 inch block by DuraBlock. You can get sticky sandpaper that sticks right on it, or you can just go old school, wrap it and hold it with your hands, with your thumb here. Um, you got, you know, round blocks, you know, for doing, this is, this stuff is perfect for like doing, you know, in here, I've used it multiple times on classic cars, like in this section here. If this hard top wasn't here, this whole section would be would be kind of like rounded, rounded up going into the, the roof here. And this these types of block are perfect for doing body work in here, you know, but. Um, so, yeah. Uh, how do we how do we send you videos to explain what you need? So um, you could you could basically. Uh, open up your own youtube account super easy plug and play um, record a five to ten minute video and just send me the video link upload it to youtube you could even you try vimeo um if it's a short video you can send it to me by email and just email everything guys to tony at learn auto body and if you're going to send me something those emails go to my support team first but then they filter you know they go through it and then they send me the important ones so if it's like auto body Q&A, they forward it to me. But again, sometimes I miss it because I get hundreds of emails every single day. So, so yeah. Uh, what is the inner coat? Um, I'm thinking you're, you're talking about, um, uh, the carrier, which is uh, DBC 500 by PPG. You can use that as a clear base coat. It's a carrier. Um, 
you know, you could put flake in it, pearl, whatever you want as a mid coat, spray it on over your base coat and then put clear on top of that. All right. All right, guys, I want to say thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week, Monday, same time. Um, have you ever used UPaul products? Yes, I have. UPaul makes a good product. So whatever they got, if you feel like you want to test it, I would go ahead and test it. I use UPaul Raptor Liner, some of their Rust um, products. You got it, Cam. No problem. No problem, guys. I'm here. I'm here every Monday for about 20, 30 minutes this time to just help you guys kind of get some clarity uh, and um, and move forward with your body and paint projects. Like this, this Chevelle here, I really want to do soon. I'm still, I'm working on it, you know. I'm not working on the car, but I'm working on other things so I can get to it. <laughs> um, let's see. Which of the Atom guns would you recommend for small compressors? I would use, um, if you're looking for a standard size spray gun, check out the X20. It's a good starter. It's a good starter spray gun, uh, the X Atom X20 um, or the X27 low volume, low pressure version, because not only does it use less materials, but it consumes a little less air. Uh, but if you really want to go for consume air consumption and using less air, uh, the X88 is fantastic at that. That also is a low volume, low pressure HTE spray gun, which is a fancy acronym for high transfer efficiency. So I'm just going to post a link, guys, here to uh, to Zula.com. You can check out some of the spray guns there. And any guns that you buy at Zula, they give you a free gun bud ultra lighting system, which is the um, the mounting light unit that basically lights up your garage, you know, your paint when you paint. It's good for candies, blending all around. Super cool. What's up, Harold Schwinn? No problem, Matt. Long time no see. Um, and for all you newbies just tuning in, here is the link to grab uh, the free training at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Let me know if that page loads for you, by the way. It should be loading. Um, and then this is the training for Ecom Domination. If you guys want to learn how to build and make extra income um, through e-commerce. Hey, crazy times ahead, man. Energy prices are going up. You know, inflation's coming and it's it's coming. It's going to come harder, I believe. Um, and here is the Crypto Waters newsletter. If you guys want to kind of get on the insider um, newsletter with cryptocurrencies and all that. All right, guys, hope you guys are having a great week. Stay positive. Don't watch too much news because it's pretty much mostly depressing. I am going to get back to work and um, I'll talk to you later. We'll be back on same time next week, guys. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Hit the like, share, subscribe, and, uh, and I'll talk to you later. The euro is so weak. Yeah, the dollar is very strong right now, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I'm out. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next week. Don't forget to hit the links down below or in the little cards here for, uh, for any of the important links that I just dropped. Talk to you soon. DIY Garage said, oh, I just ordered the Atom X88 Infinity and already have the Atom X16. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Peace out. See you guys next week.